I've been incredibly fortunate to learn many leadership lessons by observing and being exposed to other leaders. In my early 20s, as I interviewed, studied and shadowed some inspiring leaders as part of my master's thesis, I had a life-altering experience sitting in a bombed out building, watching an extraordinary revolutionary leader who was unable to adapt his leadership style and unwilling to admit that the context had changed and his country now needed a different type of leadership. Caught up in a messy mix of preference, personality, ego and identity, he was operating from a bombed out building despite there being a well-functioning parliament a stone's throw away. The pull of the familiar, the desire to operate in his brilliance as a guerrilla leader, blinded him to the fact that he was undermining his own legacy. It prevented him from seeing that he was now stirring up trouble when what his country needed was to rebuild and heal. In that moment, everything I'd ever heard or read about the importance of self-awareness came into sharp focus. There has not been a position I've held, business I've started or run since then, where I haven't regularly stopped to ask if the way I was leading was helping or hindering the collective. If what was needed was for me to evolve and grow as a leader, or to hand the reins to someone else. I cannot tell you how thankful I am to have sat in that bombed out building and to have learned that lesson at such a young age.